business, they tryna treat me like a menace, they tryna turn me down. You know I'm different, I'm walking around with my skinnies, I'm standing around down. Yo, what's up, YouTube? So, we finna go on a lead trip to uh, the National Civil Rights Museum up in Memphis. So, I'm finna be recording that whole experience, bro. Cause, but I don't know, though. I ain't never been there. Hey, don't mind her back there making her a bagel, putting butter on a bagel with her nasty ass. That's nasty, bro. Robinson, we're all guests of our esteemed motel. Our most notable guest, Dr. Mm -hmm. Martin Luther King Jr., would arrive April 3rd, 1968, and he was here to aid in something that was known as the sanitation strike. Unfortunately, the very next day, April 4th, 1968, Dr. King will be assassinated on the second floor balcony right in front of room 306 where he was staying at the time. Needless to say, this will leave the motel in a constant state of decline as all those stars weren't coming. <laughs> Back of the bus, <laughs> Out of that seat, I'll have you rested. Get up from there. In 1955. <laughs> They wanted us to stop singing because they were afraid that our spirit would become contagious and the other prisoners would uh, become freedom riders. So they threatened to remove the tension that a community which has constantly refused to negotiate is forced to confront the issue. For years now, I have heard the word wait. This wait has almost always met never. We must come to see that justice too long delayed is justice denied. The Negro's great stumbling block in his stride toward freedom is not the white citizen's counselor or the Ku Klux Klan, but the white moderate who is more devoted to order than to justice. And you can see that the, over here is where they're pointing at. Right here. This is what they were saying. That's where he got shot. They pointed. Get out, man. Get out, man. Thank 